Now we come to the third thing is tone. So up till now it's kind of flat because uh, oh, I'm doing two-dimensional picture to two-dimensional picture. Anyway, uh, it's kind of hasn't got volume because it's proportion and angle. It could be some designer thing or sort of cartoon, um, this sort of sort of more decorative picture could be flat. But since we are doing it, it's kind of painting, it's got has got volume. It's painting is kind of there's space and light is pouring into that space. Just space doesn't mean anything without light. But when the light is pouring, but if it's empty space, again, it doesn't mean anything. But because of all this object is there, that's why it's, it shows what sort of kind of space we are in. And in this picture, it's snow laden uh, sort of scenery. And then when the light pours onto the space and the object, it reflects. So it's create light and dark means light and dark and then that shows volume because light side and dark side is kind of shows how what the volume is so um, I call it it's tone light and dark but it's not just light and dark but in between the shade of tone so I'll show you how to do it maybe so that you can make some gauge on the corner somewhere. Anyway, you can make a gauge, but maybe I'll yeah, make a strip of paper. Some, any, any paper also we can use this corner of this picture. Maybe you can use this corner of the picture. Okay. If you have closed your eyes and then look at this black and white picture, you can see very lightest part and then darkest point. So make this uh, lightest point as a grade one and then the darkest one as a grade five. So darkest one, okay, the lightest one, grade one, which is kind of almost blank paper. And then grade two, divided into sort of five tones. There are many methods that you divide into ten grade, and like Ken Howard, and he he put it in forty-two grade. But that's maybe it's a bit too much for the the beginner's eye. Probably so. Grade one, two, maybe three. You make kind of gauge three and maybe four and five. Can you see one, two, three, four, five? Okay, maybe four, maybe slightly darker, and then grade five is very dark. And then using this gauge, can you see uh, when is the lightest part? I can see this is very light, and the sky is quite light, and then roof of the edge of the roof of this uh, house is quite light, and then maybe, maybe this kind of snow reflecting part, light reflecting is quite light. So I call this one as grey one, and then darkest point is probably this lamp post or this tree trunks, and then under the under the roof of this house. And around here, maybe you call it grade 5. And uh, all this in between, grade 1 and 5, you can categorize, maybe sort of, this is, should be maybe grade 2, it's shadow of this tree, and uh, grade 3, maybe uh, undergrowth, or it's a shadowy part of this tree, and then maybe grade 4, Maybe you can call this bush grade four. Some of this dark spot as a grade four. 
You can see this quite clearly if you half close your eyes and then look at the picture. So now that I'm sort of half closing my eyes and then doing the tone. So maybe I'll mark this long post. Don't worry about kind of you know shape is right and so on, but rough position and the size, those things are more important. But now I'm doing the sort of tonal things. You don't have to see individual shape clearly, but uh, you just I'm just feeling tone. So between here and the whole um, bush and the uh, earth, there's a very big sort of contrast here. So between maybe sort of one and one and a half to maybe sort of four. I just cover this one. You can use charcoal anywhere you like. So you use this kind of flat part on the side as kind of a general general shading. It's better to use the soft one, which I happen to go. So, using on the side, and then just, just half close your eyes and then try to cover all this it doesn't matter if it's kind of leaves some white mark because it's added to the texture. But here is kind of between horizon, this sort of snow and above is very, very clear. So I'll make this one quite clear. And then between the roof is also very clear. Are you side? Maybe sort of. Generally, kind of, you start with most covered area, which means about two to three is most area is kind of about two to three. So, to cover whole things quickly, I'll just start with something two or three gray. All this, if you half close your eyes, then it's much easier, easier to see tall rather than picking up details. Don't pick up details too much, you know, just a wide kind of general atmosphere a lot more important than details of this, what this tree is doing and all this. Anyway. And when you use charcoal, softer one is much better because you can put quite a dark mark, you know, quite quickly. So here was house, wasn't it? And then that's kind of nice white windowsill. It's quite nice. It's quite attractive. And then And there is another thing. Okay, anyway, maybe better to draw on that trees. You can draw trees now. More sort of. So, what I'm doing is a dark tree trunk, but try to draw. So, grade 5, I'm doing grade 5 now. I've been doing a grade kind of two to three 
but now maybe moving into grade 5 because there are quite a lot of tree trunks and so on here now that you're doing tree well all this drawing um, tree this sort of shape maybe sort of you have to individually study on all this quick sketchbook if you carry this little sketchbook in your bag or in your pocket any moment you think it's nice you just you know draw and over the years you really develop the skill or how to look and then transform. But remember how how to draw. Remember, um, proportion, angle, and tone. So this is the tone I'm doing. At the same time, you draw. But if you make mistake, you can just wipe off easily. So don't worry about the mistake too much. Sometimes even add to the atmosphere this mistake line, erase the mistake line. So I'm doing this three. Because you know you set up all this bottom of the tree and also bottom of this umbrella. That's why I know where things are, things come. A little bit of variation within is okay, as long as atmosphere is here. But it's always draw the one closer to you. And then go, gradually go, go up or go further back. Now, this in between the bush, the house, you know, dark bed is quite attractive and then it's kind of um, articulated this in between the snow and the house as well. Don't kind of just draw between this light and dark, but pick up this especially dark bit of this grade 5 only. Then the picture can breathe in and out. Don't suffocate with dark grade 5 everywhere then this picture cannot breathe. This tree at the end. I'm just doing grade 5. Like this uh, dustbin. Kind of these are quite sort of maybe not essential but anyway it's added to the atmosphere so I'll, I'll put it put it down now that maybe I can make this lump post a bit more a bit more substantial because I know what position and what sort of size this lump post should be. I can make it, you know, stronger. Always make sure the position and size is right, and then you can build on this sort of detail or whatever. 